Hey guys, welcome to today's foundation road test. Today I'm looking at Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you're not familiar with any of my foundation road test or with my skin type, I do have combination skin that gets oily in the T-zone. And I'm also looking for foundations that help kind of blur and camouflage any fine lines or sunspots and just help the skin look better but without looking heavy. And unfortunately, it seems like a lot of foundations that give that natural look or that radiant look can sometimes make me look like a grease ball during the day. That's the reason for the foundation road tests. So welcome if you haven't been here before and welcome back if you have been. So let's look at the claims of Born This Way Foundation. It costs $39 for one ounce. There are 18 shades in this line. It says that there is undetectable medium to full coverage and that it is oil free. It diffuses the line between makeup and skin so that you can't see the makeup or the imperfections, only naturally radiant skin. It contains coconut water to replenish moisture levels, alpine rose to brighten skin and promote elasticity, hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. I love the bottle. I, I just think it's such a beautiful bottle and I love anything that has a pump. I am a sucker for, so I love that. It's just, I don't know, I just love everything about this. Um, so when you pump it out, you can see here, it, it's a little bit runny, not too runny, but it's nice and fluid, especially for the coverage that you get. And you'll see that when I go through the demo. It covers like a dream, but it doesn't look very heavy. I've had this in my foundation arsenal for quite some time. And I put it away for the summertime just because this is not one of those foundations that I know is gonna hold up for me through the heat and humidity. So I pulled it back out now that it's not 90 degrees and it's only, you know, 80 or mid 80s. <laughs> it's so cool right now. I thought that I would give it a test with you guys and show you what it looked like on my skin. I do have it on today. I'm wearing the shade Light Beige. I'm hoping that you guys can see on camera how beautiful the finish of this foundation is. And you will see in the demo how easily it applies and it covers. So this road test is gonna be a little bit different and here's why. Yesterday, I put this on and I did my usual Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer like I do every time I do a foundation road test and then I top with translucent powder. I just had a lot of shine going on yesterday. So, not good. So today, I am going to use Urban Decay All Nighter Spray when I am done. So that is just something that you guys should know that is going on today. Hopefully that will help things last a little better today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do something else. So we're gonna see how this lasts the best and that's the purpose of this foundation road test. So let's get on to the application again as before every single application. Pea size amount of my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer it has already been applied. Let's get started. And here's that beautiful bottle again. And I'm gonna take a generous pump, just one pump. I think that'll be enough to do my whole face. A little goes a long way with this foundation. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just put a tiny bit on there and just start blending it in to my forehead and my nose. And you can see, or I hope you can see, how easily and seamlessly it blends into the skin. It's actually a fairly quick application. And I'm just blending that in and getting a little bit more, just a tiny bit more at a time and blending it in to one side of my face. And again, just pretty quick. It, it's just such a good, easy application and it covers very well. And it seems to cover redness on that side pretty quickly. And I'm just gonna do this side as well. And it actually didn't take very long to do my face at all. And I did not need that much concealer, which is really, really nice also, which actually takes some time off of getting ready. So and I'm just getting the redness and sunspots. Covers pretty well. 
haven't gotten dressed or done my hair yet, but my makeup is finished and I'm hoping that it is showing on camera how beautiful it looks in person. The only concealer that I needed other than under eye concealer was this little red spot I had on my forehead and this sunspot that I had kind of right down here. Um, it really is just a beautiful foundation and it covers so easily and just looks so beautiful on the skin. So I'm hoping that you guys can see that on camera. Like I said earlier, this is not my first rodeo with this foundation. I've just, you know, put it away for a little while. This is one of those foundations that, you know, the price point's pretty good, so I'm willing to work with it. And it just looks so pretty when you put it on, but you do kind of have to tweak it a little bit. And I'm gonna see if a setting spray helps it hold up a little bit longer during the day. Okay, it's only been like two and a half hours since I applied, so it's a very early update, but can we just take a moment to look at how pretty this looks on the skin in outdoor lighting? I just love it. That's all. I'll be back later. Do you remember earlier how I said it was 80 mid 80s kind of really cool yeah well it's not it is 95 look at this 95 so it's been a hot day and I've had this foundation on for about six and a half hours and I just wanted to do a quick update it looks good I have blotted twice today and I'm just leaning in so you can see. Nothing is broken down. Nothing looks weird or funny anywhere. My makeup looks really good. I wanted to just give you a quick end of day update for the first day of wearing this foundation. And this is the primer and setting spray day. And it looks really just very good and very nice still at the end of the day. So, I mean, you can see there's some shine, but I haven't lost any of the foundation. It still looks good. There is a little more shine that I am personally comfortable with. Someone else who has more normal or dry skin would probably be okay right now. Um, oily combination skin, it doesn't break down or it didn't on me, at least not with a primer and a setting spray. It just got a little shinier than I personally like. Let's see, the first time I blotted was around three, three and a half hours, and the second time was around five hours, and then maybe seven, and then it was around the eight hour mark where I thought, you know, this is probably the max amount of time I'm gonna get out of it without having to block constantly. So, you know, with a primer and a setting spray, it still wore really well, but it's, it's something that I'm going to want to wear on a day when I can check in and make sure it's looking okay. So it's not for a day where I'm going to be needing to look presentable with minimal touch-ups all day or all night long. Still a beautiful foundation. So I am going to wear it tomorrow and do something a little bit differently and you will see that tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day two. I've already put on my primer just like yesterday and the step that I'm taking that's different is I'm gonna try the Wayne Goss method of applying a light dusting of translucent powder after my primer. So it's kind of like part of the priming step and what you do is you just take the residual translucent powder that comes off in the lid just a teeny tiny bit and swirl your brush around in it and even kind of tap it off and then just dust that all over the face and it will help hopefully adhere the foundation on and give you more of a shine free finish as the day goes on. So that's all I'm doing differently today from yesterday. I'm still going to put on the all nighter setting spray when I'm finished with my makeup completely. So that's gonna be it.
I've done this before with some foundations and it's worked pretty well. I'm going to try it today with this one and see how it goes, if it helps with the shine factor throughout the day. And I'll check in midday and give my final thoughts at the end of the day today. See you guys later. Hey, just a quick midday update. On day two, it has been six and a half hours, actually a little bit over six and a half hours. And I blotted at hour three and again about an hour ago and touched up with translucent powder. It looks very good and I forgot to use setting spray this morning. So it is holding up really, really well. I don't know if you can see, but it looks good and it did not get cakey or anything like that by using that translucent powder as part of the priming step this morning. And it is 91 degrees. I wasn't actually intending to try this foundation out for you guys in super hot weather, but that's just the way it worked out. So we will see how this goes at the end of the day. Okay guys, we are at the end of day two of Born This Way foundation. And I have had this foundation on for 12 hours, almost exactly right now. And I was not expecting to get that kind of wear out of today. I did blot one other time after the check-in today, and that was probably about an hour and a half ago. And I did need to, but um, it still looked good and it's held up really well today. So I would imagine with a setting spray, it would hold up even better. Um, so I'm just gonna lean in and hope that you can see. But, um, you know, I'm pretty pleased, especially considering that I just wasn't expecting to get this kind of wear. So in summary, I will say that it does give medium to full buildable coverage very easily and very quickly. Is it undetectable and does it diffuse the line between makeup and skin? It's not completely undetectable. It doesn't look completely like skin, but it does look absolutely beautiful on the skin. So you have a lovely pump bottle. You have a beautiful foundation that will give you a good amount of coverage. It does just blend in seamlessly. It's very quick and easy to apply, which I love. There's a decent shade range and it's just a beautiful foundation. I'm going to keep it in my foundation arsenal and I'll pull it out for days that I don't need super long wear. I have long lasting foundations that I wear for my 10 to 12 hour or more days. This one is one that I will keep for maybe five to seven, eight hour days and I'll still use the primer and probably the powder trick with it. It really did work a lot better when I did that. If you have combination or oily skin, I think that you can make this work for you if you take a few extra steps. If you have normal to dry skin, it's gonna last a lot longer on your skin and of course be shine free for you guys. And I was not expecting it to be 90 something degrees on my trial days, but it was and it will probably last a lot longer for you guys if it's cooler weather outside. So that's something to take into consideration too. Overall, I like the foundation. It's not gonna give you super long wear, but I'm willing to work with it. Thank you so much for watching today's foundation road test. I hope that helped you out a little bit. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button today and thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you again soon. Thank you so much, bye-bye.